Hey guys, it is Skullord here. How are you? Well, today we are exploring a bit of Tekkit. I am in creative mode. And I've got a little Tekkit house over here. Got some solar panels on the roof attached with these uh, little cables. So let's take a look inside, shall we? Now, right over here in the corner, we have an. Oh, whoops. That was an iron furnace. It basically has a... I have it over here as well. So, yep, uh, you just put some stuff in there. And it melts uh, a bit quicker than the normal furnaces. Plenty of furnaces. I'll show you them in a bit. This is an MSF view. It is... Uh, it's basically an, an input for power sources. Or an output, I'm not too sure, I think it's an output. Uh, that, yeah, these things are inputs. Uh, so you, you use those for connecting nuclear reactors uh, and a lot of energy sources like that. Uh, except for generators. Now I've got, I think all this is connecting to the generator. I've somehow managed to connect the MFSU for all these machines into the generator. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I've got a lot of power. So, this is a charging bench. Now, this is for use for very important items. I can turn creative mode off. For these, they're called the quantum suits, uh, or quantum armor. Now, if you press control, run extra fast. Go faster in the water. Jump higher. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> and you basically are invincible until the armor runs out. Yeah, you don't take any damage at all. Now, you'd realize that I have these little torches there. These aren't ordinary torches. They're called addiction and tertian. Interdiction torches. Well... Um, they basically push zombies away from the ra they push every single mob out of the radius so they can't get in uh, where the radius is specified. So let's uh, look at some of the machines that I have here. We've looked at the MSFU. Now this is a macerator. Macerators, you put an ore in there. Actually, I'm gonna get some ore. Iron ore. Whoops. Alright, it's right over here. Oh, whoops. I know. So, so you put this... Oh wait, no, you put it up here, don't you? So you basically put some iron ore in there. And it macerates it into uh, dust, as you might see in a second. Just gonna get these things called overclockers. No, it's a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, overclockers boost the machine's uh, speed. Which is really, really helpful. Okay, I put too many in. <laughs> it's wasting a lot of power. <laughs> Alright. So basically, now we have eight iron dust. What you want to do with this iron dust is put it into a furnace. Put the dust at the top, put some coal down the bottom. Now these iron furnaces uh, melt slightly quicker. Which brings me to the next point. The electric furnace. So these electric furnaces... Oh, I've got one already. Uh, furnaces that are much faster then the iron furnace. Oh god, I've ha I have one right here. I'm a Ninkin poop. Um, l l let me just show you the difference. Okay, so we're going to put this dust into here. Now it's electric, so it doesn't run on coal. See how quicker that was? But we've obviously run out of power because it is night time. Set time to noon. And then our power will be running back on. Because this MSFU is translating all the power 
I'm not too sure actually. Yeah, translating all the power to certain machines. I'm not sure I've got, I've got something wrong here, but uh, I'll deal with that in a sec. So this uh, electric furnace. Uh, so so what macerating does it? It gives you two pieces of dust. S um, two pieces of dust for for one of the ore that you put in. So if you put one piece of iron ore, you get two dust. You put two dust in the um, furnace, you get two ignits. So basically, it's, uh, basically double the value, but a bit more time. Now this is an extractor. You put machines. Uh, you put stuff in here like rubber wood. You'd of, you'd often use uh, cells as well. Let me just spawn in some rubber wood, which is a new object. Sorry, I have a bit of a low power level, and it gives you rubber. Rubber is used for making cables like this to connect machinery. And yeah, these copper cables are invaluable, guys, so don't forget to create them. I might do like a little tutorial on stuff. I'm just showing some machines off right here. So extractors extract things. Alright, and this is a generator. Generator, you put. Where'd all my coal go? Must have it in my inventory, no? Yeah, furnace. That'll make sense. You put coal in there. And then it basically runs uh, electricity. My power levels are good over there. Yeah, it's very uh, helpful. What, what am I doing wrong? Am I supposed to put coal in there? Probably not. Anyway, got to work that out soon, guys. Got to be the technical problems in Tegit. Got some iron doors. What was that? Yeah, yeah. Generator is basically a basic power source. You use it at the beginning. You need machine block uh, to build it, which requires refined iron, and that is a new item. You put iron in a furnace, and it uh, becomes refined iron. So let me just uh, showcase that to you now. So I've got iron over here. Now to put some coal. These iron furnaces work really fast. I'm just not using the electric furnace at the moment because I don't want to use power. Yeah, so you've got a piece of refined iron. These refined iron pieces are used for making machine blocks which lead to all of these machines basically, you need a machine block surrounded by by stuff. Now as to this charging bench, it can repair my armor. This armor is really really hard to make, you need dark matter, uh, red, oh no, you, uh, sorry, uh, do you need dark matter? No you don't. You just need a lot of lot of stuff. Now which brings me to some oil. Now this is oil. Uh, it's a source of fuel, if you wish. And, yeah, everybody knows what oil is, so you don't really need a brief definition of it. So, let's go back into the... into here. Actually, and let's get a rubber tree sapling. <laughs> Let's get some bone meal. Throw this iron out. Turn the creative on. Oh, actually. I'm going to turn the music down, girls. Whoops. Alright. So what was I going to do? Got this stuff in... What am I missing? I've got... Yep, okay, I'm good. So these trees are called rubber trees. You you see them uh, of their distinguished three... Uh, I wouldn't say headed. Three more extra leaf blocks on top of the tree. So they're, so they're different to ordinary trees. 
and you'd also find these trees in the jungles which are uh, quite thick as well but sadly we don't have a jungle bone you know I'm not sure of the sapling probably gonna make another episode on this uh, with an upgraded house and stuff having a bit of tech technical difficulties with this MFSU and it's not translating transferring to all this so I'm gonna have to do my magic and try and sort things out but till next time guys from the Gore Group, I'm Skull Lord. See ya.